Hey guys, Fire Red Hell 8 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. I'm here today because Silent Senior 09 just couldn't be here. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, okay, yeah, that, yeah, like, anybody would buy that, seriously. Howdy, guys and gals, welcome back to Let's Play Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. I'm your host, Silent Senior 09. And last time left off, we were in the Iceberg Zone. We also had just finished talking to Glalie, who's asleep on us. Hey! We got man. We got work to do. Ain't no time for you to be sleeping. Nobody's sleeping on the job now. Dang it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, boy. Mm-hmm, boy. You gotta get to work here. Seriously, though, we gotta get to work, because we gotta get some ice blocks here that are, like, perfectly cubed shape. They're like the perfect ice cubes you could throw in a drink. Oh, only they would probably take up all the drinks, so I don't know how that would work. Mmm, thank you so much. I appreciate your hard work. Frostlash will love this. I sure hope so. Clang, 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 clang. Nice. Oh, and he even put two little things out front. Those look like ice cream cones. Uh, ooh, excuse me. I need more ice blocks to finish up. Oh, of course you do. Just like with the Bidoof side quest. Oh, yeah. And every time you give him ice blocks, similar to every time you complete the tree, Pokemon will come to check out the igloos or whatever, or they'll return, because igloos are here to now house the Pokemon. What is this, anyway? For a second there, it looked like the Triforce, but these are like two triangles connected together on each of them, so that it's like the Triforce times two, really, because they're diamonds instead of triangles. Hmm, what would you call that? Triforce times two. Let's see, Tri would be three, so... Hex, so Hex Force, Hex Force. Yeah, I, b I bet Hex to Plea you Dot would actually appreciate that. Instead of the Triforce, he'd be known as the Hex Force. I called it. That's gonna be your new nickname, dude. Nobody here knows what I'm talking about. Probably that's okay. He probably doesn't even know. He's like, dude, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about, dude. You're crazy. All right, one more. So now we need to first we gotta let Earthstring admire our handiwork. Well. Glalie's handiwork. We're just kind of the fetch quest boy here. We're like, we're picking up stuff and bringing it to the man who's going to utilize the tools. We're just carrying the tools, so I guess we're tool boy. Tool boy! More ice, please! Actually, you know what? I just happened to think about that. <coughs> I think there's like a quote in a movie somewhere. I don't know which movie. I, I think it was Casper meets Wendy. Maybe it's, I think it was Pool Boy. Oh, Pool Boy! And. It's one of the witches. They were asking for more ice in their drink or something. I don't know. I have to watch that movie to, just to check that and verify that, though. Oh, I'm so weird. I know. I'm random. Oh, that's wonderful. Now I can finish building. Build it, man. Can he fix it? Yes, he can. Oh, wait, no. This is Bob the Builder, y'all. Ooh, very nice. All right. It's done. Frost sauce will love it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. these are some fine igloos. Thank you, Tuma. Thank you. Thanks to you. I'm just so thankful I can't speak right. Hmm. Anyway, I heard from Wingle that Frostlash was at the end of the chairlift. Can you go check on her? If you find her, could you tell her to come back? Yeah, I guess I can, but... I don't know if she'll come back if you said something to tick her off. Uh, that's on you, buddy. That's not on me. But, anyway, we do need her to come back because apparently she's one of the only ice Pokemon, which I find odd, who can actually freeze the lake. I guess everyone here forgot to learn Ice Beam or Blizzard. Or maybe everybody here learned Ice Beam that could learn it, but they need Blizzard and she's probably the only one that knows it. Who knows? Who knows? So we're going to go ahead and befriend some Pokemon while we're over here, so let's go and do that. I said I wanted to go to the hot spring and cavern zone. But then you also insisted on playing in the snow. It's far too cold for me. That's why Glalie is keeping me warm in one of his igloos. Ha ha ha, what a guy. Yeah, he says that a friend in need is a friend indeed. What a swell guy. <laughs> Will you battle me? Answer me! Yes! Don't kill me! Okay, let's start! Thump, 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 thump. Jeez, makes the whole freaking ground quake. Okay, so, Pokemon like him. There's a few Pokemon that are going to fight like him. These guys, you probably don't want to sidestep. You want to just run away, because otherwise they will pummel you completely. And I don't mean that just because they're large. I mean that because they're like a brick wall 
with fans attached behind them to their feet, and they blow, like, clear over you and run you over, basically. That's their style of attacking. You might say he's thrashing about, but yeah, that's basically what he does when he battles. Hrumph! <laughs> you are good. Call me whenever you need to. I'll help you. Don't forget to play with Teddy Asa. I won't. Don't squish me. You've got friend. A very large friend. Alright, let's go ahead and BFF him. I hope you don't pummel me. Alright, football guy. I'm not something you can tackle freely. Take my zap zap. Power. Hoo ya! I'm shockingly delicious. I wasn't slugging off. But still, I lost. Don't kill me, please. It was just a lucky shot. Well, that was fun. <laughs> See you later. Oh, well, thank you for not killing me. Yay! Alright, so he's on our side. That is a very fortuitous thing. So if, if ever we need a uh, favor of not, you know, getting clobbered by somebody, I reckon he can help us out. So I believe another po the other Pokemon that showed up here after the Igloos were built was Primeape. So let me see here. Uh, hopefully he'll actually talk to me with it. Oh! You play a skill game with me? Uh... Yeah, sure. Of course! Yes! Battle me, won't you? Sure. Bring it. Alright then! Bring it on! Yeah! Okay, these tough guys are starting to freak me out. Just a wee bit freaked. Okay, anyway, like, much like Ursary, Ursary, I gotta pronounce his name the way it's spelled, because otherwise... Oh, nobody's gonna be convinced that I'm actually reading the, or attempting to pronounce their names correctly. I think pretty much everyone just calls them Ur Ursaring, but anyway, this is Primeape. What am I talking about Ursaring for? Humph! You're beyond belief! Are you Pikachu? Yeah, last time I checked in my yellow skin and my lightning bolt tail here. Mankey in the Metal Zone told me about you! He did, did he? I demand you be my friend! I don't think it works that way. We can battle again and again! Okay. You've got friend. That, I guess that works. Why not? Sure. Oh, zap, zap. I win. You lose. Good day, sir. Oh, I'm so mad. Battle me again. Battle me again. I gotta... No, 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 no. That's it. We're done. We are done with this conversation. If you're going through temper tantrum, we are done. I understand your pain, man, brother. Brother, we just we can't be having that. You freaking out on me, man. You you go scare the, you go scare somebody doing that. My randomness aside, <laughs> and everyone's probably like, dude, shut up. You're so lame. Um, we're gonna go ahead and continue on with our adventure. Oh, what did I want to do next? I think I mean I could talk to Primplup, but I don't really want to do that just yet. I kind of actually want to get this tree, like side quest here done. So. Let me go and talk to Deliberg now that we've befriended Teddy Ursa. Oh! You're Teddy Ursa's friend, I see! <laughs> I'll give you a present! A friend of Teddy Ursa is a friend of mine, that's what I say! <laughs> I hope the sun always shines on you! Well, if it does, it might give me sunburn. How dare you? You're mean. Oh, wait, no. I see what he was trying to say. He was saying, metaphorically speaking, metaphorically, he says, Take this present to the ice tree and see what it is! Ooh, another present. And it's red and green again. Man, you must love that red and green wrapping paper and ribbon. It's, I mean, I'll admit, it's shiny and all, but geez. Mix it up a little bit. Instead of red, green, red, green, go green, red. And we got a bunch of bells! And then Smoochum came to kiss the tree. Kiss the go. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so let me go ahead and talk to... Actually, you know what? I think we have to talk, go ahead and befriend Smoochum, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Mm, yes, yes. I've come here with my friends to look at the tree. I'm ready to take lots of photos too. No? <laughs> I wish Simpolion could have come. Oh, a fan of his, are you? Yes, the big one. By the way, let's battle, shall we? Mon chéri, mademoiselle, yes we shall. All right, time to get started. Okay, well, hopefully nobody rolls us over or runs us over. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, okay. So you do the same attack as Ursaring and Primeape. Well, y'all need to learn to mix it up a little bit. Just saying. I'd be super saying on you, because my skill level goes over nine thousand. Okay, stop, dude. 
call me your tail feathers. I feel kind of guilty, though, because I'm like, I just, like, zapped the smooch him right in the back twice. Oh well. You are tough. Shall we be friends, none? Yes, we shall. You've got another friend! Alright. Whoa. That is one heck of a somersault, and it's cool the way they do the Matrix effect. Like, seriously, she like, phew, flies in the air like a football, and it just like, does like a tumble roll in mid-air. That was a nice little effect they did. Alright, now that we've befriended in BFF Smoochum, let's go ahead and... Deli Bird? Deli Bird? Deli Bird? Let's Deli Bird it, man. It's Deli Bird time. We're, we're gonna do the Deli Bird, man. No. We need to talk to Deli Bird again, so let's do that real quick. Ooh, you're Squirtle's friend, are you? I see. I'll give you a present. Let me guess. A friend of Squirrel's is a friend of yours. Oh, how do you know? May what you've stored grow well! Take this present to the ice tree to see what it is! More ornaments, I'm, guess I'm guessing. Just guessing, but what type of ornaments? Ooh, let's find out. Check, check, check it out. Alright, here we go. Aw, oh, cute. The giant put some giant bow bows up there. That's pretty. It's so shiny. And Sneasel has came has come to the tree. Came to the tree. English is not my thing, apparently. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna go and talk to Deli Bird once more. Where did he go? I swear he, he, you're like a teleporter, or you're actually you're a flying type, so you probably fl flew over there again. Oh, you're Smoochum's friend, I see. I'll give you a present. A friend of Smoochum's is a friend of mine, that's what I say. Ho 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 ho! I hope you find many friends! Well, thank you. Take this present to the ice tree and see what it is! Another ornament, probably. This should be the final work on the ice tree. I hope your days overflow with excitement! Keep making friends, you hear? I hear you. Loud and clear! Friends left and right! Woo! Alright, so let's go ahead and put this on the tree. And boom bada bing! Oh wow! It puts some like, lights on it with a tr like, like a star on it. That's pretty. Nice. Alright, with the tree, I think, completed, let's go and talk to Curly here. Un, deux, trois. Oh, the ice tree is now beautifully decorated. It looks like a tree. It's all because of you. Will you let me be your friend? Yeah, sure. You've got friend. Oh, man, they're just racking up the friends, man. All kinds of friends, left and right. Woo! Alright, now, real quick, before I forget, I'm probably running a little over on episode or under. I can't tell which, because... Been recording for quite a while, actually. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and do this one last quest with uh, Deli Bird. Uh, in order to BFF Deli Bird, you actually have to talk to him one final time, and he's gonna challenge you to a quiz, I believe. So how about a quiz as a present from me to you? Sounds like a gift. Bring it. A very quizzical gift. Oh man, my booty is sore. Okay, are you ready? This is my first. All right, your first question. Iceberg Zone. What did I come to the Iceberg Zone for? We came for presents? Yes! Came for presents! 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 Actually, hang on. Let me think about this. Skating, snowball fight. I'm thinking presents. Yeah, sure. You're so right! Haha! <laughs> Alright, next question. Which of these Pokemon is best at Empoleon Snow Slide? Oh! Crapiola, I do not know this one. Off the top of my head, I don't believe I know for sure, but I'm thinking it's Glaceon. Let's check it and see. Alright, good guess. Wow. I actually almost pulled one on me. Last question. Read the names carefully. This one's tricky. Which of these Pokemon's names can you use to make the word pen? Oh, pfft. Okay. This is a matter of basically looking at the names and all the letters available. Print Pluff. Take the P, the I, the N, and we can make pen. So, there you go. Yay, you're so right! Ha ha ha! Wow, you got them all correct! I'd like a friend as clever as you! Woo! Alright, you've got another friend. Sweet! Alright, <laughs> Smooch is jumping for joy for us. Yay, so excited! And apparently we're looking at the ice tree, I didn't even realize it. So, thank you all for watching, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls! I will see you guys next time for more Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and talk to Prinplot, probably, and see about using this chairlift, because we need to get Frostlass 
in order to freeze the lake, in order to get to Mammoth Swine, in order to get Mammoth Swine to bust down the door so we can go see Empoleon. Whew! <sighs> Man, that's a mouthful, but yep, that's our current status for what we gotta do to progress in the game. Um, again, I'll see you guys and gals next time. Peace out, y'all. Check it.